Yeah, thanks uh, for the question and uh, the easy answer is uh, yes, uh, we should treat uh, not all smoldering myeloma, but only smoldering myeloma patients at high risk of progression to multiple myeloma. And uh, now it is uh, quite easy to identify this uh, high risk group of patients. And uh, the International Myeloma Working Group uh, did a great effort in order to evaluate the baseline characteristics uh, in more than 1,000 patients with smoldering worldwide. And the 2020 model that has been previously described by the Mayo Clinic confirmed that when a patient with smoldering myeloma does present two or three of these risk factors, M component higher than two grams per deciliter, 20% of plasma cell bone marrow infiltration, or free light chain ratio higher than 20, these patients will present 50% of progression risk at two years. So this is the subgroup of patients in which we have to focus, and this is the subgroup of patients in which I consider that they deserve to be early treated. Why? Because point number one, we are going to delay the progression to multiple myeloma. And we know that progression to multiple myeloma means the development of an organ damage. This means anemia, lytic lesions, renal impairment, and or hypercalcemia. So if we prevent the, the progression to multiple myeloma, if we delay or potentially even we can cure some patients with high risk smoldering myeloma, I think that we are going to offer a great benefit for these patients. And we have indeed the evidence coming from at least two phase three clinical trials in which lenalidomide or lenalidomide plus dexamethasone for two years showed a great benefit in terms of progression to myeloma as well as overall survival. Len alone or Lendex is the starting point in order to try to improve the outcome of this high risk smoldering myeloma. And there are more than 70 or 80 clinical trials ongoing in order to try to confirm or in order to try to improve this benefit. And there are some curative approaches, including even autologous stem cell transplantation, but there are two key clinical trials ongoing evaluating Lendex plus anti-CD38 monoclonal antibodies in this population. And these two phase three clinical trials are relevant from my personal point of view because they are registrational studies and the authorities have recognized lenalidomide and dexamethasone as the standard of care. So I personally consider that the field is rapidly advancing in this disease and indeed we have to try to incorporate also so the new immunotherapy approaches and there are trials ongoing with bi-specific monoclonal antibodies or even CAR-Ts. So I would say that should we treat high risk smoldering myeloma? The answer is yes. Lendex or LEN alone is the starting point and we have to generate much more clinical and translational research in order to understand very well the mechanism of smoldering myeloma patients to progress to myeloma and to try to early intervene in order to stop, to delay or to definitely stop the progression to myeloma.